Donald Trump went on a rampage about Robert De Niro on Sunday, December 3rd, just a few weeks after the actor went off on the former president during his speech at the 2023 Gotham Awards. Robert De Niro, whose acting talents have greatly diminished, with his reputation now shot, must even use a teleprompter for his foul and disgusting language, so disrespectful to our country. He has become unwatchable both in movies and with the fools that destroyed the Academy Awards, bringing them from one of the top shows in the country to a low-rated afterthought. De Niro should focus on his life, which is a mess, rather than the lives of others. He has become a total loser, as the world watches, waits, and laughs. The 77-year-old wrote, as OK previously reported, the Meet the Parents star, 80, was honored at the Monday, November 27th event in New York City, where he took the podium to speak about his and Martin Scorsese's flick Killers of the Flower Moon after winning the historical icon and creator tribute award. However, he later realized some of his speech aimed at Trump was taken out. The beginning of my speech was edited, cut out and I didn't know about it. And I want to read it, he stated. History isn't history anymore. Truth is not truth. Even facts are being replaced by alternative facts and driven by conspiracy theories and ugliness. In Florida, young students are taught that slaves were taught skills that could be applied for their personal benefit. The entertainment industry isn't immune to this festering disease, he continued. The Duke, John Wayne, famously said of Native Americans, I don't feel we did wrong in taking this great country away from them. There were great numbers of people who needed new land, and the Indians were selfishly trying to keep it for themselves. De Niro then went off about how Trump is not to be trusted. Lying has become just another tool in the charlatan's arsenal. The former president lied to us more than 30,000 times during his four years in office, and he's keeping up the pace with his current campaign of retribution, the Oscar winner said. With all of his lies, he can't hide his soul. He attacks the weak, destroys the gifts of nature and shows his disrespect, for example using Pocahontas as a slur. This is hardly the first time De Niro has spoken about his disdain toward Trump. After he couldn't attend the New Republic Stop Trump Summit in NYC due to being diagnosed with COVID-19, he had someone read a statement out loud on his behalf. I've spent a lot of time studying bad men, the statement read. I've examined their characteristics, their mannerisms, the utter banality of their cruelty. Yet there's something different about Donald Trump. When I look at him, I don't see a bad man. I see an evil one.